Yo, 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 it's um, Burroughs. Um, Canadian Underdogs is my company. I do interviews with artists and you know, I like to do a bunch of like video blogs and all kinds of stuff to promote the hip hop in Vancouver and just try to help artists that like, you know, maybe not everyone will promote really. I, I just want to do it because I fucking love their music, you know, There's for the love of the music, for the love of the support they give me. A lot of people have been giving me a lot of artists in Vancouver other parts of Canada, it's a city full of haters, and like, I ain't one of them, I'm just trying to support all the, all the artists out there, you know, they deserve it, if, they, if they're grinding and getting real, real views, real shit, they support, I support you, 100% man, and you know, other than like, interviews, you know, I do the ghoul, I do jewelry on the side, all that stuff, I'm not really gonna talk yeah. about that, <laughs> yeah, bro, I do jewelry, if you ever need any jewelry, Rolex, whatever, I got that, um, but right now I'm really trying to focus on this music stuff because there's a lot of a lot of artists in Vancouver who are grinding and you know right now I'm not getting many views on YouTube Instagram whatever that's not my worries right now my worry is right now is getting more content I want to have more content for people to see so that you know they can see what Canadian Underdogs is really about and it's about promoting for other artists not just for myself it's for artists and like try to get people to see them and see the work that they, they put out there because a lot of artists in Vancouver they put in a lot of work that people don't really realize when they see music videos they think okay they shot it and it's out that's that there's a lot of shit behind it there's a lot of things that go behind the scenes that people just never know about but sometimes you know I get it out of the artist and the artist will tell me what's going on in certain scenarios it's good man I love it I love this I love the music scene in Vancouver I've been listening to Vancouver hip hop since 2011 my child obviously went off to stomp, the stomp down guys, Caspian, Merc, Snack, you know, Evil, all those guys, Prada, everyone, you know, everyone, everyone grinding, they're all grinding, they're all still killing it, man, they got mad love for them, you know, Merc's on tour, murdering it, you know, there's little Windex, all that, it's a lot of music coming out from Vancouver that's like, I can't even keep up with what I try, I try and like, man, music out here has changed since when I first started listening, 2011, there's only like select like, few rappers really grinding and like trying to go out there now. There's like so many artists, so many artists out there that are young and they're hungry. They're hungry for the love and the fame and whatever they want. <laughs> Olympia like, Pizza. Yeah. Yeah, Olympia <laughs> Pizza. That was my days, yeah. Olympia yeah. Pizza when I used to go like, I went to every country. You guys need to smoke too, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. No churches in North Bay. So forward is what I represent I present the ugly side of a fake friend A real peasant Started out interviewing rappers a van You play stand, the number one fan My team going straight like a laser beam Shout out to laser beam I'll be smoking greater greens You gotta feel it to the bone I'm in my zone What goes around comes around I speak out loud Better run and hide It's about to go down They want the career They want, the, they want to do rap for the rest of their careers past few weeks I've done like a bunch of interviews with the younger guys like for example Jay Mon, he was 19 or Marty Ma he was 19 and you know just a bunch of young cats who are like grinding as well you know I, I respect them especially because they're around my age I'm only 20 years old so it's, like, it's cool to see someone my age you know putting in, this, putting in the same work but in a different like era department for music you know they're music videos with their songs they're, they're, doing, they're putting in lots of effort and that's what I really like so I appreciate it Everyone who you know puts in the work. Because at the end of the day, if you're not putting in the work, who are you trying to like show it to? The computers, like you want actual people to be following you and following up with your work. And, like, at the end of the day, it's all about the love, not about the fame. It's all about love. If you get love from your city and love from people who like watch your videos, like for me, that's all I need. That's what makes me motivated, makes me happy, makes me go through it, keep doing it more and more because. I see people like putting in their time to even share or like my shit. That, it means a lot to me, man. Even one like means a lot to me. People don't realize like I'm not trying to.
get all the likes and all the views. It's not about that. It's about people who 